Hello, my name is Johan Digital. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a fun functions in uh, Visual Basics. I'm using the 2013 version. However, you will be able to follow up uh, this tutorial even if you are using an earlier version like 2010 or 2008. Now, to start with, I've created a, a Windows form and I've applied uh, a button. As you can see, the private sub within my button, I've got absolutely nothing yet. I'm going to go outside of this. Uh, button sub and I'm gonna create a new private function so private function uh, I'm gonna call my private function uh, calculate calculate now open brackets close brackets and I'm gonna set it as integer Let's put us a double, just in case we have uh, um, a decimal places. And then I'm going to basically create some variables now. As you can see, I've got uh, my private function begins, my private function ends here. So I need to create some uh, variables here. So I'm going to say dim uh, first number assigned to us integer. And then I'm going to say first number equals, uh, let's say, 10. Then I'm going to create another variable, dim second number as, again, integer. Let's put integer here as well. And I'm going to assign uh, the, my dim second number. Another way to do this is we can actually put equals there to 20. So other way it will work. So if I say dim first number as integer or first uh, number equals uh, 10 or dim second number as integer and then I equal to 20. So now what I will need to do, I will need to actually create some calculations. So I'm going to say return. And then I'm going to say the two variables. So I'm going to say uh, first number plus, oops, plus second number. So what I need to do now, if I test this now, nothing will happen because I have not put an event onto a button. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put an event into this button and this event I'm going to apply onto this button will be the actual function. So I'm going to say messagebox.show and I'm going to put the actual the name of the actual function. Oops, calculate now. So I can actually use this function a number of times. Every time I press the button, I'm, co I'm calling this actual function. So instead, instead of actually repeating myself over and over again, so I, I might be able to create in the future m multiple buttons. And I still would like to actually return the value of this function. So let's test it. As you can see here, I've got number 30. So if I go and close this project, and I will say, right, okay, 20 plus 10 equals 30, that's fine. However, we can actually, instead of actually having a specific values here uh, onto uh, my function, by dynamic values, values that the end user will be able to actually um, add. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the form view, and I'm gonna apply two text boxes. So I've got text box one, I've got text box two. So I'm gonna call the text box one. I'm gonna go to the name. I'm gonna call it number one. Then I'm gonna go to the text box two. I'm gonna call it number two. As you can see, we not put any spaces in when we actually name our object. So I'm going to double click on my button here to just take into the code view. And instead now of here saying uh, 
first number equals 10, I'm going to say number 1. And then I'm going to say equals number 2. So as you can see here, so first number equals number 1, and then the second number is integer equals number 2. As you can see, I've got here an error message because I need to apply that dot value. I need to let Visual Studio to know that this is a text box, a text field, sorry. So now if, you, if I test this, if I put on the first value, I'm going to put number 20. On the second value, I'm going to put number 20 again. Run. I've got number 40. So every time I select run, I'm calling this function. And the function is called calculate now. Thank you for watching.